Uh, good evening, everyone. We thank you all for joining us this evening for our presentation. We're going to go ahead and get started with a word of prayer. If everyone would, we will bow our heads at this time. Our kind and gracious Father, Lord, as we come before you, Lord, just giving you thanks and praise for life, health, and strength. For another day, Father, that you have blessed and allowed us to see. We thank you for another opportunity, Father, to come together. Lord, to learn uh, what you would have for us to know, Lord, about health, Father, about our health, Lord, and how, Lord, our bodies are so fearfully and wonderfully made, and, Lord, uh, you've placed so many different uh, facets within our bodies, Father, and there's so much for us to learn, and we ask, Lord, that you would help us, Lord, as we continue, Father, on. Lord, give us the knowledge that we need uh, to be able to care for our bodies, Lord, in the best possible way, Lord, that we may give you, Lord, full glory, Lord, in what you have done in blessing us. Father, we pray for each individual that is on this call, Lord, that you would um, open up their hearts and their minds as well, Lord, that they may receive through your Holy Spirit that which you have for them. We pray for our presenter, Tiffany, tonight. And Father, we thank you for the knowledge that she has and that she will bring. And we just ask that you be with her, Lord. And again, Lord, that you give her clarity of thought and clarity of mind. And Father, that you would just bless her, Lord, to bring forth the information, Lord, that she has tonight. Again, we thank you, Father, for um, all of your wonderful blessings. We ask for the forgiveness of our sins and that uh, Father, you you would help us, Lord, to be everything that you would have for us to be, that your name may be glorified. But this is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Welcome to Naturally Yours at White Stone. Um, I just wanted to, my name is Regina Barber, and I just wanted to share with everyone if anyone was having problems logging on, please. Um, if you're logging on by way of phone, uh, hit uh, click uh, audio and uh, be certain to unmute at the very top towards, towards the left so that you can hear more clearly. Also, if everyone um, who is coming to us by way of computer, if you would please mute your um, uh, mute yourselves at this time um, so that we can hear from Tiffany as she presents. And at the end, uh, we will have an opportunity for questions and answers. Good evening. Uh, now my, my name is Yashara Price, and I'm very pleased to welcome Tiffany Jackson, our guest speaker this evening. Tiffany is a certified personal trainer and an online personal trainer. She is a certified silver sneakers instructor and a level two fascial stretch therapist, which she will explain what that is. She currently lives in Corpus Christi, Texas with her husband of 25 years, her teenage son, and a beautiful goddaughter. As a personal trainer, she strives to help her clients achieve their de desirable goals, whether it be weight loss, muscle building, cardio endurance, balance, and agility for sports performance, as she believes that staying active creates a healthy lifestyle and strengthens mind, body, and spirit. She has an incredible step testimony as to how and to why she became an FST practitioner. So please, everyone, please welcome Tiffany. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> So thank you for inviting me, Shira. Um, I guess you want me to talk about how I got into it first? Yes, please. Okay. So the personal training or the uh, the fascial stretch therapy? Whatever, so, you want to, whatever you want to talk about. Okay. I'll do the personal training because that came first. Okay. So uh, my husband was in the Marine Corps. And I grew up very sickly. I had a lot of asthma. I couldn't really run and play like the other kids could, right? And so I just did it. And so when we were, uh, when he was training, I would just kind of run with him or walk with him and I'd tell him to go ahead because I would be like, 
right? So then one day I started noticing that I'm going farther and farther with him on our daily walks. And I wasn't getting asthma and I wasn't getting short of breath and I was like, oh, working out works. So ever since I started pushing it, then I have not had asthma anymore. And then I just really like to educate people on the power of working out, you know? And so with that, I started, I became a personal trainer and I became friends with this one lady. This is how the transition from personal trainer into fascial stretch therapy. The, um, I became a personal trainer to this one lady who I would go to her house three to four times a week. And we just became friends like people do. Um, dur throughout the duration of our friendship and partnership with personal training, she told me that she was getting, that she had breast cancer. Um, and the doctor told her that she couldn't work out anymore. So she told me that she didn't want to stop seeing me. So I needed to figure it out, right? So after I did a lot of research on stretch and yoga, anything that I came up with to do with her, it, it, it was painful for her. So I just happened to run across painless stretch and it, it took off from there. I mean, it took three months for me to get completely certified and it was life-changing for me, her, and every client that's been on my table since. I mean, people just, they, they don't feel pain anymore. If you work out, you can get deeper in your squats. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. I just love it. So that is the story of how I became um, both the trainer and the fascial stress therapy. It is life-changing. Amen. <laughs> so let's see. How do I do that? Okay, there you go. Oh yeah, I like that presentation, Shara. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so back pain, all of that, that's gonna, if you're experiencing any type of back pain, so fascial stretch therapy is also, is painless. So how this works, it works with your neuromuscular system. And so when my clients come into the, to my room, they've never experienced that before. Cause I mean, it's very, it's not very well known. Right. So when they come in, I have to explain three things that I, um, that it is painless. Cause if you work out, you always want pain. Nikita, I saw you working out yesterday. So I know that if you're, um, if you're working out, you kind of want that burn. Right. So, <laughs> right. So this is the only place where we say less pain, more gain. So because I calm your nervous system first, before I stretch you, I get more results. I get better results out of you. So any back pain, anything like that, we, I mean, it's almost like an immediate, you know, immediate relief when once someone gets on my table. We work with breath. We work with, um, so I watch the belly rise and fall, then I stretch when on the exhale. And uh, yeah, it's just, I love it. I love it. You can go to the next one, Shara. Uh, so what is fascia? Fascia is everywhere through our body. It, is, it connects the muscles to the bone. It runs throughout the muscles. It's all throughout our brains. Um, so whenever we stretch that, we release, we release everything that is held in our bodies. Um, we can what's kind of scary about it is that it also holds emotions, right? So most of the time, if I'm working on the hip area, then you can, it releases trauma. And then once the trauma is released, then you can deal with it, you know? But most of the time people come to me just because it is just a healthy way of stretching. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's life-changing for me. I love it. So let's see. I can read that fashion is a thin. Yes, that's it, Shari. You can change that unless everyone's reading it. How does fascial stretch therapy work? Oh yeah, it's all about the range of motion. Yes, when a muscle is stiff and doesn't want to move, it becomes stiff. When muscles, look, Shara, how do I move this to the other side? Did you try to move? Oh. I see it now. I see it. Oh, when the muscle doesn't shorten, it becomes weak and inflexible and 
weak stuff, inflexible and weak? Yes. So, you know, like when we get older, you see the older people, they, their shoulders get a little bit more slumped. And that's because we don't, when we're working, we always have to put things on our shoulders. We carry purses and stuff like that. Well, that weighs us down. So stretching and working out, that helps with that. We all, we have, if we don't use it, we lose it. And we can increase. So this this picture here, it shows uh, just hip flexion. And so people, when you work all day, you get stiff and you really get tight hip flexors. But just, you don't have to be on my table to do that. Y'all need to just do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a great thing. Oh. So let's, talk, let's do a video. Okay. Oh, this is, yeah, this is good. This one is stretching out the neck. We also hold a lot of emotions in our neck. They love this stretch. Clients love this stretch. This is stretching out the mandible. If I don't do it, they ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You want the next video? Please, yes, keep, yes. Keep it going, yes, ma'am. Oh yeah, this guy he is a fisher. He's a fisherman captain, and so he's working with his back all day. This stretch right here, oh gosh, it is just beautiful to open up the rhomboids. And if you work out a lot, you do CrossFit. This this stretch is it. It opens up the rhomboids. It is an immediate relief. I love this stretch. They love this stretch. This is awesome. Yes, ma'am, you can go to the next one. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> this is standing rhomboid. Yeah, rhomboid stretch. For people who work out, that's a small moat. The hip flexors. Yes, so the way that uh, fascial stretch therapy works, the reason that it has so much success in getting results is because we work with oscillation. So we kind of finesse the muscles before we go into the stretch. We don't just go in and cold stretch you. We have to like ease into it. You know, we romance the muscle before we just dive in. So that's, what, that's what's happening here. And that hip flexor is always tight, so they need those. Big time. Yes, Mary, you can go to the next one. Woo wee, they love this one too. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is that lateral line. Oh gosh, that you can feel this from your rib cage all the way down to your ankles. This one is just wonderful. This is where you hold a lot of emotions too. So people can get emotional either before they, uh, be before they get off the table or after they leave me. But it's a big release either way. You're saying they, they cry? Yeah, they cry. Wow. Yeah, when I was in training, um, a lot of people like in the pelvic area, the hips on women, that it just triggers something and, and it releases emotions. But, you know, that means you're, if, you care, if you keep that trauma inside of you, it can make you sick and, you know, eventually come, become your demise. So... You want to get that out of you. You want to deal with it, right? You don't want to keep that inside of your body. Mm. Yeah, they have broken down before. Mm -hmm. But this is a beautiful release. Yep, move better, sleep better. Oh, gosh, the best, the most important thing, the, the takeaway mostly that I get is good sleep and immediate relief of back pain. If you have pain, of it almost immediately and you always get good sleep yes yes ma'am you can go to the next one this is for the low back Woo -wee. i guess i just love all my stretches <laughs> this one is for the low back it just relieves that low back so much oh my gosh yes ma'am mm -mm. Working out, you can get lower in your squats with this one. You can get, you can lift more weights and makes your workouts more effective if you get stretched. But you get, you know, you guys, you you don't need to 
if you don't have a fascial stretch therapist near you, then stretch yourself, right? Stretch is stretch. You need more flexibility. This is important. This again, the hip flexors, when we sit all day, when we work all day, and who doesn't have to work? I mean, we all have to work. So, you know, fast, it really, it helps with range of motion. It increases blood flow, helps with your lymphatic system. This is, yeah, this is the stuff right here. Mm -hmm. People with arthritis from this, benefit from this one, huh? I, I missed this one. Oh, that one? Oh, that's the neck one. Just another way of stretching the neck. It gets all in the back by the traps. We also hold a lot of emotions here in the neck, shoulder area, and in the hips. That's where we hold a lot of stress and tense. So you guys always need to put those shoulders up, back, and down. Always up, back, and down. Push the shoulders away from your ears. Even now, just move. Yeah. Even looking at it makes me want to like just straighten up my posture. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, that wrist stuff. Oh, I love that. People with arthritis can benefit from this. People with, um, when you text all day, they have called tech hands or tech neck. But this one, as far as like people who are on the computer a lot, mostly people with arthritis really benefit from this. Oh yeah, I told y'all like when FST is good for right before you go to sleep, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is a different angle on the wrist. Yeah, so once you extend that arm, you can feel it all down the forearm. So when the arm is up, you don't, you just feel it in the hand, right? But you extend that arm, it goes all down the wrist, all down that forearm. You said that we could do this to ourselves? Yeah, you can do it to yourself right now. You can just take your fingers, use this hand to traction out the fingers here and you mm -hmm. get immediate uh, space in between the joints because that's basically all it is. It's just pulling just a little bit up and going out. Even, so I can show you a demonstration of how stretch like FST is different from uh, assisted stretch. If you take your finger and just bring it all the way back, right? You see how much I can go back, right? Not mm -hmm. very far. But if I take my hand, give it a little bit of traction, so I'm just pulling up just a little bit, and then just go all the way back. I mean, it's just amazing because I'm creating space between the joint, and then I'm taking it back. And then if you do it slowly and finesse it back, you take it what you can do, you can do more. You can go more. We also do what's called PNF. It's a very short uh, uh, acronym for pro proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. You don't need to know all that. <laughs> but <laughs> it's when we press back against it, like I'm gonna press back and then release again. And it just makes it goes a little bit farther because it relaxes your muscles a little bit more. Hmm. This is after one session. So that before and after this guy came to me, this was just the other day. He came to me because he had um, back pain. So yeah, those, the squats got that one session, squats got lower, that low back got released. Beautiful. This one too. This was, uh, see his hands, his shoulders needed to be released. Mm -hmm. This is where I work. This is, I have to take care of my partners there. She, uh, she works out a lot. Mm -hmm. And so she got lower in her squats. That's the adductors trying to do splits, this lady, that was her, that was her before and afters. Mm -hmm. And that's my mom, you guys. <laughs> my mom had surgery on her knee not too long ago and she was in a lot of pain. So uh, I did her and she, it, it just completely painless. Mm. Yeah. 
And this young lady here, she's she soccer player. So that preps you for your preps you for your games as well. Yoshi, you wanted to back up a little bit. Okay. Back up one. She was talking about a soccer player. Oh, oh yeah, the little the young lady there, she is. Oh, there was the next one over. Whoops. This one, Tiffany? No, no, not that one. It was the very last one. I was done. I was done. No, no, it was the other way. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was I was done. It was I was talking about the young lady. She's a soccer player. So she she they come to me before they're going to their games so they can be ready for their games. Mm. Yeah, I was done. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys have questions. We have a hand up. Yes, Michelle. Uh, did you have a comment or a question? Okay. I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We have a spirit, Regina, we're going to do the spiritual application. You're muted, Gina. Spiritual application. Psalms 88, verse 9. Mine eye mourneth by the reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Mm -hmm. That sound wonderful? I've stretched out my hands. I'm going to ask everybody to just join me in stretching up their hands. <laughs> and stretching out that back, as Tiffany can say. Doesn't yeah. that feel good? Yeah. 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 I see yeah. you, Mitch. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> That feels good. Yes, I love that. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Tiffany, right. that was a wonderful presentation. Thank you guys for inviting me. I can't me. wait to, to you get your hands on me. Oh, I know. I would love and to show it. Stretch me out. <laughs> <laughs> you would love it. It's awesome. <laughs> I already know. I can see it. I'm just going to ask you to stretch me out like a rubber band. <laughs> And I, I know I feel new because I feel new already just in viewing the presentation. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for inviting me, ladies. It was nice. Thank you very much. And Donette, you want to go back to the first three stretches in the in the in the presentation, Donette? Yeah, she said she wants to take a screenshot of the first three uh, <laughs> uh, stretches that on the slide. Okay. If you guys want more information like or like stretches that you can do on your own, I can send them to Shara so she can, I mean, distribute them to you. I have good on the floor self stretches. And now where are you located? I'm in Corpus Christi. Oh, I have some friends there, so I probably should go visit. Absolutely. And then come on over to your shop, right? Absolutely. So I do it in two locations. I do it out of my home. Mm -hmm. And then I also do it, um, I just got a contract with a gym that's close to my house. So, I, and I love the diversity. So either way is good for me. I love it. I've heard of it, but I really would love to try it. I never was like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's painless. So it's really no risk. I can understand someone, you know, going to the assisted stretching places because I've been there and it is, it's pretty painful. It's pretty intense, but. This one is painless. It's awesome. Okay. Yeah. But if, if whoever wanted like stretching, like if you want some things that you can do on your own, I can send some information to you. Also, like you can follow me on Instagram and I always have good information, even like self-stretching. Cause I know you, I'm the only stretch therapist here in uh, Corpus that does FST. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I believe in sharing the information with you guys. I can, email something to Shari and get it out to you. That would be great. Hi. Hi. I have a question. My name is Donna. How are, how are you doing? Tiffany, thank Hi. you so much for sharing. 
Um, I have, I'm a teacher, and unfortunately, I'm now bound to a, a, to a desk and a chair all day. I'm no, no longer moving around. And so I have a lot of tension in my back and my neck. Mm-hmm. I was wondering, is there something that I could do every day to kind of like help to relieve that? I don't, I don't know which one it got, but I would love to know. Well, your hip flexors, you're in the chair, so your hip flexors oh. are tight, right? I don't know. I'm more so my back and my neck is, are totally, totally a mess. My posture's a mess. Yeah. My back, my neck, yeah. Do you have a foam roller? You get, 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 do you have a foam roller? You no. Oh, let me get on the floor and I'll start showing you stuff. Let me, <laughs> you can order a foam roller or, or you can like, um, if you have a tennis ball, you can get a tennis ball and put it on the wall and roll against it. You can mm-hmm. like toe touches and, and back extensions. I mean, okay. around the world, I mean, all, any movement, right? I mean, I just kind of want to show you, but Mm-hmm. I, I mean, is that allowed? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can show them. Yeah, I mean, if your back hurts, you can do like I don't know. I'm not really. Can you see? And my neck, my neck and shoulder. Yeah. Oh, that's a foam roller. What Regina has? Do you have that? Let me see. I don't. I can't see her right now. Hold on. Okay. So yeah, I see. The, okay, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Mm-hmm. That's perfect for the back. That's perfect for the back. But you can do like toe touches and then like just try mm-hmm. and push your pelvis one to the side. Right. Right. And then I know this is weird, but like the pelvic tilts, that relieves low back pain and around. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, all these exercises. I mean, it just feels good. Even if you're doing that, it feels good. I feel good right now. Right. You can go laterally with it. Mm-hmm. Movement stretches it out. The more you move and the more breath you use with it, the more deeper you can go with it. So like inhale here and then exhale and go farther. I mean, mm-hmm. movement, just keep, just, just move with it. Also, I'll show you something for the neck real quick. Okay. And then just see it. Yeah. This is a weird one here, but it looks funny, but it feels good. Mm-hmm. And it also will stop us from getting that downwards hump in the back. Cause you know, we do this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Back up and put your chin back and forth. And pr- trying to create a double chin. Mm-hmm. That gets rid of that little double that uh, dowager's hump. Put your hand here. Take a breath and relax that neck on the side. Ooh, y'all making me want to go to sleep and stretch. It's just like you know, mm-hmm. you know, all that. All that's good for your neck. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, ma'am. I can. Um, Shara, I mean, I have something to send her if you. Okay. Want. Yes, that's that's good. I'd appreciate it. Um, and Tiffany, I just wanted to say it's it's really just a blessing that you're sharing this because so many people that have these type of problems, they run to chiropractors, you know, and chiropractors are making millions of dollars because people are thinking they have a bone problem and the issue is not with their bones, it's in the muscles, you know, and it's in the fascia as well. Um, I know I was having really bad problems. I had gotten so bad, I was actually sitting up in order to sleep at night. My left side, it was just, you know, just uh, so tight. And what I did, someone just recommended me to go in for a a deep tissue massage. Mm -hmm. And that in itself began to release the problem that I was having. But I had been going to a chiropractor for months, you know, getting the neck crap, getting the the neck crack, you know, the back crack. And it was not relieving any of my issues. It wasn't until I started going to getting that muscle work that I started, you know, feeling relief from that. And probably after the first or second time I went, I, you know, I was able to sleep in the bed at night. So yeah. it's just awesome how, you know, God makes our bodies with all of these different facets to it that we don't even begin to understand, you know, until, you know, this information comes to us, you know, as you're bringing to us tonight. Absolutely. And a lot of people put too much faith in doctors anyway. Not that I don't believe in doctors because I absolutely do, but you need to be your own advocate when it comes to your health, right? Mm-hmm. Anything that's wrong with me, I research. I went, to, I have, um, I have uh, plantar fasciitis. I have that. The first thing this guy wanted to do to me was give me five series of shots in my heels. No. So first thing I did was look up what to do. And I've been doing it 
for, I don't know, maybe six weeks now and I'm getting better and better. You're not sh shooting me up in no needles in my foot. So I'm getting better and better. I, mean, I don't, I mean, yes, doctors are there for a reason, but they're also there to make money and push the drugs that they need to do to make their profit. I get it. I'm, I get it. Mm -hmm. It's a business, but this is my body and this is your body. So you are the responsible for doing your own research with something. And then also attending things like you and like these things here just puts the seed in your head as to what route you need to go. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I'm, I'm, I agree with you. You, you definitely need to take more routes and stretching too, for what you just said that you have, mm -hmm. that helps you, that helps with that as well. Hey, hey, Tiff, I also, um, for, for you, for your plantar fasciitis, are you, um, I have it too. Uh, are you? Yeah, very badly. Just being an athlete and running, you know, for so many years. Uh, it's just, I think it just caught up with me. Um, I too had a doctor that wanted to do surgery on my feet. So I uh, did some research and talked with some individuals about some exercises mm -hmm. and they helped tremendously because when I was getting out of the bed, I felt like I was 90 years old mm -hmm. one time and walking, the pain was so intense. Yeah, but just yeah. a simple stretching of that muscle in the calf. In the calf. Who would have thought? Calf. Who would have thought? <laughs> no. Who would have thought? That, in that, the was, calf. that was contributory to all of the pain that you're feeling in your feet. Right. And just yeah. merely dropping that heel, that back heel off of a step mm -hmm. and, and then coming back up on the tiptoes you know, for so many uh, sec uh, seconds and dropping back down, that did wonders for me. Hey, oh, Regina. Hi. Regina. Yes, ma'am. This is Mill. You remember you told me I, I got out of bed one morning. I thought of my life was over. And what I did my research and I wore wet, he wet heel shoes and within three weeks, also with some uh, bed stretches that I researched and, but the heel worked for me. And I, the other day I was thinking about that, about that. And I said, how did that happen in the first place? And then I did my research since COVID. I was I go to the gym. I went to the gym every day. I mean, That's every day. That was oh my God. Yes. And I was, I was just walking. So my body went into some kind of tight mode. And I didn't realize that until after I did my research. Yeah. And I was like, oh my stars. That's exactly what happened to me. I, I was going to the gym and then uh, once COVID happened, I started working out on the concrete in my garage. And, mm -hmm. and, it did it. My feet. and that's how it I did. developed it. It'll yeah. kill, it'll kill you. Yeah. Wrong cues. Mm -hmm. yeah. you. Yes. And I wasn't wearing shoes in the house. And I have hardwood floors. And that's the no no. I'm like, oh man, trust me, I have on shoes now. Yeah, but I mean, I don't, I, I did a little bit different with the, my healing recently. So I've changed to many different facets. I bought the Hoka shoes, right? Y'all know what the Hoka ones are the, the real thick soles. Mm -hmm. The little babies, your feet, right? But then your feet, the pads of your feet get really um, accustomed to being babied and pampered. So then when you are on the hard floor, it, it's excruciating. So I'm finding that the more primal I am with um, you, the use of my feet, the more my feet get used to it. I mean, I like my feet to be soft, so I don't walk on the floors all the time, but I do like them to get used to the hard surface and is getting better and better. So I, I I do things on with bare feet in the morning, you know, with socks on. And then I start putting once at the end of the day is when I need my shoes now. Whereas before the second I got out of the bed, I needed the shoes. Mm -hmm. So it's getting so much better. So mm -hmm. much better. Yeah, I went online and bought all these high size shoes. <laughs> yeah, me too. But I'm I'm trying to sway away from wearing them all the time. Because yeah. you're sensitive to the pads mm -hmm. and you're, 
you're not gonna be you're not gonna be able to not wear them. So just try to get off of them every now and then. Yeah, I took the ones out of one set of shoes and I'm walking in the house with them and that's been like three weeks now. So having not having any problem because I, I can see how you can get used to that. But the shoes that I walk in are, I don't know if I could walk in any other shoe now. I know because your feet are sensitive to just that yes sensitive type of thing but just wean yourself off of it for example in the morning time after i do all my stretches and my rolling on my uh you know the shin part the shin and the calf after uh -huh. I do all that rolling i get out of the bed really slowly i just wear socks and i do old lady walk into the coffee and uh -huh. okay. right and, and then eventually that pain just is not as intense. And so then I wear um, like slippers that aren't so padded. And then by the end of the day, if my feet hurt, I put on the Hoka shoes or the, the tennis shoes that are really, really um, thick. But I don't, I don't want to be crippled by that. I don't want that to be my crutch. So, um, and that's with research too. I mean, that's just not me thinking that. I've, I've researched that as well, you know? Yeah, I didn't go beyond getting the help that I needed. I didn't see what the downside would be if I wore them all that time. But I, I have gone back to a regular house shoe and I'm not having any issues with that. But see? the house shoe has yeah. a little heel on it. Yeah, yeah. You baby stepping then. You're already baby stepping. And I did not know that until talking about this weird foot problem that we all have. And then I found out. So once that it was put planted, then I started doing more research on that. So it just grows, it, you know, your research just stems out from, from where, where you are. So yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tiff, I noticed that um, in your, in your stretches, you use a lot of your own body weight. Yeah. I'm not hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, that's helping you stretch as well. Yeah. I'm working out. Yeah. But I'm not like, I'm not going to, stretch my shoulder all by lifting some body, you know? I mean, I'm not doing that, yeah. Well, this, mention, the mention, way mention the straps. You said you they, they, everybody has to be tied down with those straps. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, I strap you down. So, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I love it. Huh? <laughs> oh, my oh. God. Oh, no, you can, can y'all see that? This is my straps here. Oh, okay. So Michelle has been on my table many times. She's my, uh, Michelle Crabtree, I see her right there. She's been on my table many times because she's my, uh, when I wanna do a new stretch, I practice on her. I've also practiced on Mitchell and Felicia. <laughs> but anything we do, like we, they, it never hurts, right guys? Right? So, um, but yeah, the strap is just to stabilize you. It's just so that I can work on the limb that I, I want to stretch. So it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> so Michelle or Mitchell, do you guys have a testimonial you want to share with us? Can you unmute if you would like to? We'd love to hear from you. Hi everyone, I'm Mitchell, I'm Shipney's friend. I have been on her table before and I usually get massages and I try and stretch on my own, sometimes doing yoga, uh, but it's just, yoga is not really focused so much on the stretching as I'd like. I get really, really sore doing some of the workouts that I do. Um, it's really intense stuff like CrossFit. So a lot of weightlifting, mm -hmm. a lot of shoulders, neck, I mean, quads, just everywhere where you don't want to hurt and Tiffany's really great because she's kind of introduced me to this, um, you know, side of her fitness program. And it really helps because it really stretches you in a way that you need to be stretched and not only heavy workouts, but the stuff that you use every day, like your legs and your arms. And I am sitting behind a computer all day. I'm working a lot. So I get like really kind of sore and tight all in my forearm, which controls, you know, all your fingers. That's where you know, typing and on your mouse and everything. So um, her program is really great. And I really appreciate her working hard to learn all about this. So I don't have to, 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, she is absolutely fabulous. I mean, not, I mean, I'm a teacher, so I do work with my hands a lot and I also work out. So when she says, when, when she told me I'd be able to sleep well, oh, oh yeah. it was, I, I'm here to say, I'm, wow. Um, but I just, you know, honestly, when she told me about it, I was like, oh, okay. She's kind of stretching, but it's, it's a different kind of stretching. And until you've had it done before, then you're like, oh, wow. Like, Ooh, like, I mean, I don't know how to explain it, Stretching but um, you haven't, you didn't know you have. Yeah. That, 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 there you go. I didn't realize that, you, you know, you had that muscle over there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. but, um, it does make you feel better. And it, it just, I don't know, it just energy gives you like an, another boost of energy that you didn't yeah. think you have as well. Um, but uh, I, I love it. And I, I would definitely I recommend it to people um, when I'm out with my uh, friends that have kids who, you know, go to have to do soccer or baseball. Hey, go for the, you know, try it out. Um, but it's I have a question. I'm sorry for Tiffany. Um, how about people with scoliosis? Do you yes. Yeah. yeah. My my yeah. son is a he basketball, but he has scoliosis. Well, he now has a, he now has a um he now has a metal rod in his back. So you know, so it's a lot of the curvature has been has been corrected. So I'm wondering, you know. Do you work with people with scoliosis and how does that work, work with that? I work with people with scoliosis. So as far as like um, a rod in your back, I would always, like if you were concerned about it, I would always just ask the doctor first. Um, and then if they give you the okay, then it's gentle. I mean, there's, there's no way I can hurt you. We are communicative the entire time. Um, you are breathing. Yes, it's very relaxed, but... I'm not going to go past what you can go. I stop at your first range of motion. So if your leg, if your fingers can go all the way here, right, I'm going to stop right where you start to barely feel the stretch. I'm going to take it from there and then go deeper. It's a, it's a very finessing type of thing. So yes, you, he can definitely get help with that. I mean, they have stretches for specifically for curvature of the spine for tilting of the pelvis. They have stretches that fixes or manipulates that in, in a way that, wow, you see results after the first, the first session. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I just, I just love it. <laughs> we had a question. If you are stretching someone else, are there any precautions that we need to be aware of? If I'm stretching someone else? What, what was that? Can you explain that question? What do you mean stretching someone else? And what precautions are you thinking about? Well, I think you would have to have some kind of knowledge on how to stretch someone else. Is that the question? If I can stretch my sister and I don't know anything about stretching? Oh, right, okay. If you're talking about doing what I do to someone else. I guess that's what she's talking about. Like, yeah, you know, I do that. <laughs> you can hurt yeah. them. You can hurt them. We have like there's little tweaks of my body that I do to get to those spaces that you never knew in your in your body. Like I might just have to do something like this. Like Michelle, I when she's on the table, she's really sorry, Michelle. She's really my experimental guru. She's willing to be on my table for anything, right? So mm -hmm. I can literally just move my shoulder or my leg like this much and you can feel it so intensely. So if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to that, you can hurt someone, you can you can hurt you doing that. So you don't want to. Right. I guess my question was when I didn't, I apparently didn't uh, phrase it correctly. Yeah. You know, you were talking about, we could stretch our own uh, wrists for like, you know, if you're, use, if you're using a typewriter a lot or you're on the computer a lot and you had mentioned, you know, uh, being able to stretch your hand and if, if I were doing that to my daughter or to my husband is there something that I need to be aware of for just those small movements I'm not talking about you know trying to do my back or my hips or anything like that I'm just talking about those small ones in the 
uh, foot area and in the uh, wrist area. Communication, communication, talk to them. So if you know what you're gonna do, like, so for example, if you, but before I became uh, certified with the FST, I used to stretch a lot and I would stretch my clients, personal training clients a lot, right? All I did was research things to how to stretch this muscle. So when I would do that, I always did use breath, but yeah, it hurt because that's what, that's what we like. We like to feel what we are doing. So if you are going to stretch your daughter or do her hands, once you research what you want to do, always ask her, is this okay? Can I go farther? And then always like, I know this is a little trick, but always like pull the joint first and then go, and I mean, pull just a little bit, okay? And then go back and always talk to them, make sure that they're feeling it, make sure that they are, that you're not going too far either. So- Okay, so look it up like under carpal tunnel or something or just yeah. under fascia stretching. My go-to, it well, fascial stretching, if you look that up, I, Shara, can, I can't see the young lady that's talking. I would love to see her. How do I do that? Okay, I'm she's sorry. This is me. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. You don't have to turn it back on. I just didn't see your name or anything. I'm sorry. You don't have to turn it on. I just oh, let me turn me. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I thought your picture was there and I just didn't see you. Um, oh, no problem. Okay, what? I'm sorry. What was the question? <laughs> oh, where do you, where would you look? You can, I looked on YouTube all the time. That was my go-to. You can look on Pinterest. Um, you can Yahoo how to stretch. Are you, you know, just, I can just send you some things. I mean, if Shara gets, you know. Yeah, just, uh, just yeah. email it. I'll put it on the, uh, on the website, the, the, the package that you have. Yeah, and uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I can like just send you things that I already have saved on Instagram. And if you're not on Instagram, I can just send. Okay, I didn't get the Instagram uh, address. It, it's on the screen. Do you see the screen? Tip fit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, under the okay Instagram. I did. I didn't see that at Instagram. I had written that down earlier. I thought that was a website. No, that's her. Her. Her handle. It's on Instagram. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I see it now. Okay. Earlier, it didn't show that Instagram. So, Tiff, since you are the only one that's like in your area that specializes in that, and I'm sure this is something that's going to be become more popular, are you going to be getting certified where you can teach, where you can train others as well? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> They, I mean, that, that training costs a lot of money. And I think that, so it's under stretch to win and they're, they're, um, Mitchell, what is that name? Like it's, it's a, like, um, it's an umbrella and they teach only they can teach this. If I try to teach what I've learned, then I will be, I mean, I guess the overdramatic would be sued, you know, like they're in a lawsuit now with someone trying to do yeah, that's the franchise. Yeah, is it a franchise, Mitchie? Like, I, I, uh, I cannot teach what I learn unless I'm hired by Stretch to Win, unless I'm hired by them. If I do that, I'll get in trouble. So, mm. and I could be sued, so I cannot do that. But yeah, I am the only one here, and I think all, just all of a sudden they kind of discovered it. So I'm getting really, really busy. But you gotta be prepared with what you ask God for because I asked God for that six weeks ago. <laughs> and now I'm really dead. Sometimes it's <laughs> overwhelming, but you know, I'm grateful. <laughs> Amen. Yes. All right. Any other questions, anyone, before we close out? I had a question. I'm sorry. Um, how much does it cost to, to get the training? Do you know about how much? So if you do level one is, and it's called stretch to win who, who's ever asking, I hate not being able to see you guys or see your name or whatever, but whoever's asking, you can uh, go to stretch to win. Right. And so it's about level one is I think 2,500. Mm. Yeah, 2,500 for level one. 
and then maybe 2700 for level two, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, and don't forget, you got to pay for your airfare and your hotel. So, <laughs> I mean, and they're located where? in Arizona. Okay. And then how long is the training? So it's two weeks. So they give you, like you sign on and they give you a whole bunch of stuff to study anatomy and stuff like that. And so however long it takes you to do it, it took me three months because I'm, you know, I'm slow. So um, what is your level? I'm a level two. Oh, okay. So it took me a level, it took me uh, three months to study. And then you go there and you do nothing but hands on for uh, five days. Five weeks? Uh, five days. Five days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there any other FSTs in Houston as well? Lots in of Dallas. FSTs. You know, you know others. I know. I know there are in Dallas too. I just happen to know that there are in Dallas, but there's lots in Houston. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are, What are they called? Fascial stretch therapists. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. No, yeah. Tiffany doesn't know any of them. She wants you to come to her in Corpus. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Corpus is a beautiful place. Yes, it is. I, I have a question, uh, Tiffany. Uh, do you uh, use the fascia blaster? No. <laughs> no. no. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, ma'am, I do. <laughs> Invested in that about two years ago. <laughs> yeah, one other quick question: If it once you um, get a stretch, how how long will that last before you need to come back and redo it? Or is that just a personal thing? So it depends on your goals, right? Mm -hmm. If you're really stiff and you need some oomph in your work in your body, then we recommend uh, once a week for about a month. For, for what I have done to my clients, I put a treatment plan once for about a month and then me and you talk about it. We evaluate your body and see how you are. Then if you're good, then we go down to two weeks. I'm sorry, every two weeks. And then we reevaluate and then we just go down to as needed. So it's all on you. It's all on your body. It's all on what you need. I have me being like really new to being busy, right? I have a guy who bought 10 sessions <laughs> And he sees me very often, way more than I thought he he would. And then I have people who just see me once every other week or so. So they vary. Depends on your flexibility and your goals. Yeah. Do I have to be a, a personal trainer to, to like for example, I'm a teacher, but I, I know the value of stretching, especially when you're in front of a, a TV or I mean whatever, I'm sorry, a computer all day. So do I need to be like a personal trainer in order to do that, you know, or like, you know, yeah, besides that therapy. Most of them were body workers. Most of them were massage therapists. So, but no, you don't, you don't have to have any, you have to have an interest in it. You don't have to do, no, you just know, have to know, have knowledge of the body to, in order to be, to do it. That can be your main profession. If you want, you just sign up and go, <laughs> that's it. That is yours, then you're a fashion stretch therapist. <laughs> so no background needed. Um, also, who, who, who seems to be most, like, as far as professions, who was your, like, your, your clientele? Is it just var it's varied or just mostly? Um, well, because I work in a gym now and I started doing fashion stress therapy as a personal trainer, those were my main base, but now I get um, doctors and chiropractors, whoever mentioned that, right? The chiropractors are coming to me. I am. Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> working women who sit at a desk all day, moms. You know, I can't tell you, I'm not going to narrow it down. Everybody at this point, who doesn't sit, who doesn't need to be stretched? We all are sitting right now for about an hour. We all need to get up and stretch. So now everybody get up and stretch. And stretch. <laughs> You won't have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I need it. <laughs> oh. And the, and and uh, Tia, Nakia, and I invested in this thing. Oh, we was doing it, weren't we, Kia? <laughs> did it work? It did. It it helped. It helped. It helped. With, with, so you put it in your butt and your legs, right? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much. You know, anywhere you could, you know, get it in and work. Did it hurt? It depends on how much pressure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it depends on how much pressure you, you apply. Unless it's workout pain. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I want my muscles to burn. I like that pain. But I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't think I would want to do that. <laughs> Didn't it hurt, Regina? Yeah, and I think because I'm heavy handed and I applied Woo! a lot of pressure, I kind of sort of kind of like pain a little bit. I guess that's what I've come accustomed to. Right. So it would be refreshing to get a massage and, and a stretch without pain because I'm so accustomed to no pain, no gain. Yes, we, we, we all are accustomed to that, right? So yeah, we have yeah. to train our minds that everything that's beneficial to us physically does not have to cause pain. It doesn't, you know, and, and that's just... Um, that's just, that's just not, that's just a misnomer. We don't have, it doesn't have to cause pain to be, get you results. And I think I was uneducated. I didn't, you know, go in as deeply and as thorough, thoroughly as did Nakia. So she did a lot, a lot of more research. So I'm sure she, her benefit was a lot better than mine just by virtue of the research that she did, but when you say Nakia, I uh, stepped away for a minute. You still talking about the fast class? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It. I mean, it. It definitely does. Um, you know that, just that tissue. You know, right under the skin and between the muscle. You know, to kind of help. You know, work that areas out. And those a lot of those trigger points and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have tightness, it kind of helps you get in there a little bit more. Yeah, I bet that thing feel good right here on your neck. Would it? Yeah. Would it right there? Mm -hmm. I bet it would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need some hands. I need some human hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If there's no more questions, let's close out with prayer. And we're praying. Uh, once again, our kind and gracious Father, we thank you for being together on tonight. Lord, we thank you so much for the knowledge that we have gathered, Lord, and just, um, Lord, learning, Lord, about the body and, Lord, our joints, Lord, and, and, and just talking about, Lord, areas of the body that we've never even known existed, Lord, or even thought existed. We thank you, Father. That now, Lord, um, even if we're not able to get to um, Tiffany, Father, at least, Lord, we can start looking and researching, Father, for some of these, Lord, these tensions, Lord, in these areas in our bodies, Father, that make us feel so much more aged, Father, than what we are. We ask, Lord, that you would help us, uh, Father, in finding out, Lord, how uh, flexibility and mobility Lord, has so much to do, Father, with what we do every day, how we sit, how we stand. Father, all of these things help us, Lord, to, um, to begin to think on these things, Father, and, and, and how, Father, we can make our lives better on a daily basis. We thank you again for Tiffany and, Lord, for the work that she does for her clients. We ask that you would continue to uh, bless her and help her, Lord, to be a help to uh, many people, Lord, as she has been. Be with all of those that are on the call tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me, Father, we pray for your guidance as we go and finish out the rest of this week. Be with us all now. Bless us and keep us is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you for that pretty prayer. Beautiful prayer. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very informative. I